Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another futures day trading video. My name is Matt, in case you don't know who I am. Welcome to this channel where we talk about day trading futures. So, if you are new, make sure you go ahead and press the subscribe button down by my name along with the bell so that you get notified when I'm trading live every single morning at Market Open. If that's something that interests you, definitely come and hang out. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get the ultimate day trading setup, which is the setup I use on stream and the one that you're seeing right now. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and clear out this workspace and set it up from the ground up on how to do it, right? So in order to clear it out, we're just gonna press these X's, close workspace, okay, close workspace, okay. Close workspace, okay. So we are using the Tradeavate platform. We also frequent Top Step on this channel. If you're not sure what Top Step is, it is linked down below saying become a funded futures trader, basically just a way to trade risk-free money, you can get 20% off. But it is hosted on this platform as well, so everything we're doing, we're using this one platform floor for. So first off, we're gonna click Add Modules up here in the top left-hand corner. Once we click that button, we get a lot of different options here. I have mine set up um, to automatically load, but we're gonna do it from the ground up like I was saying. So first thing we're gonna do, we're going to grab the chart, and we're just gonna drag it and drop it onto this page, right? Next, we're gonna search NQ, because that's what we trade. We trade the NASDAQ and the ES. The U is the most current month, so contracts are always expiring at some point, right? So this is the, the most current contract is the U. You can watch, um, if you're watching this a lot later from today, you can go and check and see which one is the newest one just by Googling, right? So just click on that, click select. Now we have a chart. I always have several charts on my workspaces, right? So we're gonna do new tab, and this is how you get another of the same chart, basically. So again, just gonna click NQUO, select, and now we have two charts here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this first one to the five minute, because I like looking at the five minute first and then the, the 22 range. So what I'm gonna do is click this time period. From there, I'm just gonna drop and click five minutes. I also want to go ahead and take off all this crap. So this is a five minute chart and this, right? This is what you'll be seeing if you're brand new. It is very bland, right? <laughs> but I add a few things to mine. I add a volume histogram. I add volume profile. I add VWAP, volume weighted average price. And lately I've been using the CAMA, the Kaufman uh, advanced moving average or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little indicators button in order to open up our indicators. Next, we're going to go to volume based and just click that. We're going to add VWAP. Standard settings, nothing to nothing to do here. So we just click save and now we've added VWAP. The next thing we're going to do, volume based, go to cumulative delta, click save. Now we've added cumulative delta. Next thing we're going to do, if you're using trade of eight, you can just do this and do volume profile. All right. If you're not, you need to draw it on with top step. I have a video on how to do that as well. The next thing we wanna do is go to chart settings and click on histogram. Super important, right? This shows us all of the volume and where it's been conducted at each price point since yesterday's open, right? So this is gonna show since five o'clock yesterday through right now, so the entire Globex overnight trading through right now, where's all the volume been conducted? So now we have this mega chart. What do we wanna do? We wanna add the ES, right? So we're gonna go back to our little plus sign up here go back to the chart, click it, drag it, and now we're just gonna drop it right there. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing, but for the ES. So here's the ES, it just copies all of my things that I had over here. Gonna do the same thing again, except this time I'm going to change it to a, 20, to a seven range, right? So how do I do that? I go to time period, range, change this to a seven, save. There we go, I'm on a range chart now. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add my bands, my legendary bands, right? How do I find them? So indicators, explore community indicators. And I'm just gonna do zero, OGC for one green candle and it's the OGC don't diddle. I just click install. Once I do that, they will appear under my indicators here at one green candle, OGC whole no diddle. Standard settings, as always, just click save. And there they are, right? For the NASDAQ, if this was a five minute, we would do the same approach. We would click that and then go to range and then change this to 22. 
click save, and now we have our standard 22 range chart that we love, right? The next thing and kind of the last thing to do here is we want to add the DOM. So we click the plus, we see DOM, we just drag it over, and there we go, we've added it, right? There we go. And then we can just like uh, drag and drop, shrink, figure out how we like it, etc. If you go to settings here, I do like to have a timer on mine, so I'll go to the five minute, I'll click the settings button, bar countdown settings, right? And I just want to enable it. Click save, and since this is a five minute bar, it's now counting down from five minutes every bar. The last thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this snaps back into place at every time, right? I like being able to just center my chart just by moving it. So what I'm going to do is go to settings and then settings again, and then have continuously auto fit chart on. If you want to turn this off, it just allows you to move however far you want, right? But I like it on. So the other big piece of the puzzle, um, brackets, you can go watch the bracket video on how to set up brackets, which will be either out or coming out. Um, just go check on the YouTube channel as well as how to set up volume profile is all on the YouTube channel as well already. I just wanted to show you how to set up the 22 range, the seven range and both five minute charts as well as add as many, you can add as many charts as you want just by clicking this new tab button, etc. The last thing that I use a lot is the performance center. So if you do add modules and you can go to performance center and you can just add it wherever you want. There you go. I was filming another video. So this is a SIM account. I was filming another video. So I was taking some trades that weren't real, but if you were taking real trades, you could see all of your information right here. I always have mine spanning across the bottom just for the streams so that you can see how I'm performing throughout the day. Um, but it does have a lot of really good stats in here for you. So definitely worth checking out as well. So this is how I get my exact killer day trading setup that you see on stream every single day. I hope this was helpful for you and that it walked you through how to kind of use the trade of eight and top step platforms as well as um, get the setup exactly like mine is set up. So Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. If you're interested in Top Step, you can click those links down below. If you are interested in supporting this channel, um, you can also click the join button down below. But again, the number one important thing to remember from this video, one, we have tons of content on the YouTube channel. You can learn a ton. But two, come hang out on stream every single morning at Market Open. Um, that's where you can see me trading live, ask questions live, and things like that. We also have a free group chat, which is linked down below that you are more than welcome to join. Um, and it's just an area for day traders to come together and have a community um, of like-minded individuals. So I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.